Hey everyone, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to, yes, this is correct, part three of my Instagram hacks videos. If you guys didn't know, I did other Instagram hacks videos that I will link down below and that is where all of this started. I know what you're thinking, Adrian. how are there so many hacks in the world? But trust me, I do my research every day and there are more. So I hope you guys stay tuned till the end. I have also done two Snapchat hacks videos and one Twitter hacks video that I will also link down below. Go check those out when you're done watching this video. They are all tips and tricks for helping build your following, build your brand online. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. Hack number one. This hack is to send direct messages using Instagram stories. So now instead of just posting pictures to your Instagram story, you can actually send them to individuals or specific groups of people. This is more a new feature on Instagram. It's not necessarily a hack, but it is really cool. To do this, take a photo or video using Instagram stories the way you normally would. Now, when you take a photo, it gives you the option to save the photo, it gives you the option to add it to your story, or if you push the arrow, it gives you the option to send it individually to people that you follow, or in the upper right-hand corner, you can create a new group in which you can add all your BFFs or whatever people that you want, and you can send that photo to that specific group of people. Wanna send all your ex-boyfriends the same meme? Now you can! <laughs> no, just kidding, that's like super awkward, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, no. Hack number two. This hack is to use this extremely easy and convenient online web service called OnlyPult to schedule your Instagram posts for you. What's so great about OnlyPult is it allows you to actually schedule posts directly to Instagram rather than just reminding you to do so like other dashboard applications. Another feature OnlyPult has is analytics. It actually gives you information on your followers and your engagement so that you know the best days and times to post on Instagram. This information is so helpful, you guys. And once you see what time your viewers are most active and engaged, then you can use only put to schedule your Instagram posts to only go live at these optimal times. This is literally like the answer to all my prayers and I keep telling people about this service and they're like, you're kidding me, this is actually a thing. So I'm telling you it's amazing. Another cool feature is that if you are a business, you can actually manage up to 40 accounts on OnlyPult at one time. So if you're a social media manager, then you can literally manage 40 accounts at once and be scheduling posts for all of them. Also using this service, users can comment, delete comments, and make reposts all from the dashboard. It is super easy. I'll have that website linked down below for you guys to check out. There's a seven day free trial, so definitely check it out if you guys have time. It is unbelievable. Hack number three. Remember the days when we used to be able to tag whatever we wanted as a custom location on an Instagram post? You could say you were in your bed, you could say you were in your house, you could tag a website. Yeah, RIP, because those days are long gone. Or are they? Because uh, actually now you can. Now I just want to reiterate, I have said this numerous times in other videos, but please, please, please be so careful when you guys are posting your location online. Instagram is especially sketchy and you could pretty much track to a T down to where someone posted a photo. So please be careful when you're doing this, only tag public common spaces. But if you do want to do this, then you have to create a custom location on Facebook by actually tagging the location in a post. When you create a new post on Facebook, it'll give you the option to add a location. When you do this, if the location you want doesn't show up, you have the ability to add your own custom location. A map should show up and from there you can choose the location and the title. Now, once you've posted this on Facebook, you should be able to use the same custom location on Instagram. Now, one note is that I think you have to have your Facebook account and your Instagram account linked up for this to work. But let me know if it does because you could come up with some really clever, interesting custom locations, including your own businesses, which may not be on the map yet, literally. Hack number four. Now this isn't so much a hack, but just something that I never quite thought to do. This hack is to pin your Instagram posts directly to Pinterest. Now this is important for increasing your engagement and your following because the more places that you put your Instagram page out there, the more likely people are to click on it. So doing this will help engage Pinterest users and they will actually link them directly back to your Instagram landing page, which is awesome. To do this, simply go to your Instagram post and click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Then click share and then click copy link. Then close out of Instagram and go into Pinterest to create a new post. Now, when you go to add a post, it should give you the option of adding a copied link. Once you do that, you should see your Instagram photo right there and it will link directly back to your Instagram page. So it's more likely to be repinned and people are more likely to go to your page. Hack number five is to add spaces to your Instagram bios and your captions. I think one of the most frustrating things about Instagram is not being able to customize your bio and your captions quite the way you want. Like, why is it so hard to enter a space down? I don't know. Well, I finally figured out a foolproof way to make your captions and bios pretty much exactly how you want them. And that is to log on to a computer and type it there rather than your phone. There it will allow you to leave spaces, it'll allow you to enter down and add symbols, whatever you want. Yo girl, I'm filming. Shout out to Morgan if you're watching this video and FaceTiming you. 
anyway, using the return key on Instagram now only lets you enter down one space, which is super annoying because I want a lot of spaces in my captions, but no, okay, it's fine, whatever. So lately I've been finding that using notes to copy and paste your captions is probably the best thing to do. However, they still won't let you enter more than one space down. So something I've been doing recently is adding either dashes on each line or dots, something to break it up a little, but not just leaving it blank. Hack number six. Hack number six is to use the hashtag of the day. We all know that hashtags work, but I actually tried this recently and my likes and followers seriously spiked up. A lot of people avoid it because they don't want to seem like they're trying super hard to gain followers and likes, but don't avoid it. It actually works. There's usually a hashtag of the day that you can find and add to your post, but also Pop Sugar curated a list of all the top most commonly used hashtags. So I will link that down below and you guys can definitely add those to your posts. That'll help a ton. Another thing you can do is type keywords into the search bar on Instagram and the most popular tags will come up too. So for example, I posted a photo that I took with a drone and I typed in drone into the search bar and it told me all of the hashtags with the word drone in it that are the most popular and then I added them to my photo. Well, guess what? That photo got the most likes out of any photo on my Instagram page. Mic drop. That's right. Hack number seven. All right, back to the notion of hating hashtags. Well, an easy thing you can do is actually you put the hashtags in a comment in the comment section. So what this will normally do is hide the comments from people's main feeds. They'll only see your caption. When they click on it, of course, they'll see the hashtags. But at least this way, people aren't seeing the hashtags right away on their feed. And Instagram does take into account hashtags used in comments and in captions. So it works just the same and you can hide it a little more from people. Not that you need to. Hack number eight. This is to actually be able to tag another user in an Instagram story. Now, this is a fairly new feature and all you literally do is type out what you would normally type on your Instagram story, but tag them. So if you type someone's username in the caption, it'll actually become clickable and it'll link to their page, which is really awesome. Hack number nine. Now, this is just more common sense, but maybe something you didn't think about. And that is to use Instagram stories a lot. Now you might think it's weird, but Instagram stories pop directly to the top of people's feeds. So if your profile is constantly at the top of people's feeds right there, then people are more likely to click on it and go to your profile and actually engage with your posts and maybe recommend you to other people. The more exposure equals the more engagement. It's as simple as that. So the more that you can push yourself onto other people, not like that, but you know what I mean? the better. Last but not least, Instagram hack number 10 is to use a pre account. I mentioned this in one of my other Instagram videos, but I just wanted to really reiterate this because I love it so much. If you are anyone who cares about having a good feed, a good theme, or just creating an overall good aesthetic on your profile, then having a pre account will basically just help you test out what a photo will look like on your feed without actually posting it to anyone. All you do is create another account that's private and simply add all the Instagram pictures you've already uploaded. And then that way you can test out new photos and see how they look with the rest of your feed and obviously you can delete them and no one will see them. So I tend to do that. I'll test out a couple different filters, a couple different photos, and then once I like one, I'll post it. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out the other social media hacks videos I have done. They will be linked down below and check out OnlyPult, that amazing service that I talked about. Thank you so much, OnlyPult, for sponsoring me in this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.